Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, we're at lesson four now. So, ad-daras wa rabi'ah. Ad-daras means lesson. al rabi'ah means the fourth. So, in this lesson, we're getting introduced to huruf al-njal, the prepositions. And as we cover prepositions, make the noun that comes after it majrurun. So, it makes the noun that comes after it have a kasra. So, al-baytu means the house. When I add fi, which is a harajal, is going to make the word that comes after it majrurun. So, al-baytu is going to come al-bayti. Al-baytu, the house. Fil bayti in the house or inside the house. Al maktab, the desk or the office, depending on the context. Because the word maktab can mean desk or office, depending on the context. Here it means desk. So al maktab, the desk. Ala al maktab, on the desk. Ala means on and it's a harajar. So it's going to make maktab have a kasara, majrurun. Al masjidu, the masjid. Fil masjidi, inside the masjid or in the masjid. as the bed. Ala sariri on the bed. Here we have some questions. Aina Muhammadun. Aina means where. Aina means where, so ask a question. Aina Muhammadun, where is Muhammad? Huwa fil ghurfati. Huwa is a pronoun, and it means he or it, depending on the context. And pronouns are going to be covered in details later on. So who I hear is going to be translated as he because referring to Muhammad. Where is Muhammad? Who I he fil ghurfati is inside the room. Al ghurfa means room. It's coming but after a hafajar, so it's going to get kasra. So you're going to say fil ghurfa t. Wa aina yasirun. And where is yasir? Who I fil hammami. He's inside the hammam. Hammam means Bathroom. Wa aina amina tu. And where's amina? Hiya fil matbahi. Hiya. Hiya can mean she or it, depending on the context. Here it's referring to amina, so it'll be translated as she. Hiya fil matbahi. She's inside al matbah, which means kitchen. So she's inside the kitchen. Wa aina al kitab or aina al kitab. Where's the book? Huwa ala al maktab. Who I hear is going to be translated as it. Who I hear is going to be translated as it because it's referring to kitab. So we refer to it or we translate it as it. Who are on al maktabi? It is on the desk. So where is the book? Who are on al maktabi? It is on the desk. And like I said, pronouns are going to be covered in details in, pre in the following lessons. So there's no need to worry about this. And where is a sa'a? A sa'a means watch. It can also mean hour, but here it means watch. So, وَأَيْنَ السَّاعَةُ And where is السَّاعَةُ The watch. هِيَ عَلَى السَّرِيرِ It is on the bed. So, here, here is, will be translated as it because it's referring to the watch. So, here عَلَى السَّرِيرِ It is on the bed. Now, the next part B of this lesson, we're introduced to further or two more harjar. We're introduced to min which means from, and we're introduced to ila, which means to. So al-baytu, the house, min al-bayti, from the house, from the house. Al-masjidu, the masjid, ila al-masjidi, to the masjid. So ila means to or towards. Ila al-masjidi, towards or to the masjid. So here we have a conversation between al-mudarris, which means the teacher, and Muhammad, so the student. So Al Mudarris, the teacher says, Min aina ant. Min means from, aina means where, anta means you. Anta is also a pronoun, which means you. And again, pronouns are going to be discussed in details later on. So Min aina ant, from, aina, where, ant, you. Min aina ant, from, where are you, or where are you from? Ana min al yaban. Ana means I. Ana min al Yaban. I am from Japan. Al Yaban means Japan. Al Mudarris. Wa min aina Ammar. And min from aina where Ammar. And from where is Ammar? Huwa min al Sin. He's from Sin. Sin means China. The Mudarris says, Wa min aina Hamid. And from where is Hamid? Huwa min al Hind. 
who I hear is translated as he. So he's from India, and Hind means India. The Mudarri says, Ayana Abbas. Where is Abbas? Muhammad says, Kharaja. Kharaja is a verb, it means he left. He left. Verbs are also some things we're going to be covering in greater details later on. So in these lessons, we're not going to be going into details concerning verbs. The Madonna says, Ayana dhahaba, where did he go? Dhahaba means he went. Dhahaba means he went. So Ayana dhahaba, where did he go? Dhahaba in an mudir, he went. Ira, ira means to, towards. In an mudiri, to the principal. So dhahaba, he went. Ira, to, or towards. Al mudir, the principal, or the headmaster. Dhahaba ila al mudiri, he went to the principal. The mudir says, Wa'ina dhahaba ariyun. Wa'ina, and where dhahaba went, ariyun ali. And where did ali go? And where did Ali go. Muhammad says, Dahaba, he went in al mirhab to the bathroom. Or mirhab is better translated as the toilet. Al hammam would be restroom or bathroom. Mirhab would actually be the toilet itself. So, two things we're going to be covering in later lessons is pronouns. So, briefly going over them in this lesson without going into detail. So, if there's some confusion concerning pronouns, that's fine. Second thing, verbs also. Verbs is something we're going to be covering in greater details later on. So if you fully understood every other thing, apart from the pronouns and the verbs, in details at least, then we're fine. Or you're fine and you should go on to the next lesson. So that is the end of lesson four.